Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dmitry and today I'm at a beautiful place in Central Europe. This is Lake Balaton behind me. I've gone fishing there and uh, I noticed multiple EPMP units installed around it. So I decided to figure out who did it, who did this project and I found out that it is my old friend Laszlo from Access Point and uh, I decided to call him. So I hope that I have him right now on the line. So, mm -hmm. hi Laszlo, say hi to everyone. We are live right now, by the way. Hi, hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, so probably you can introduce yourself and what you are doing. Uh, so, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Laszlo Pobazsai. Uh, at this moment, I'm uh, working for a uh, Hungarian master distributor for EPMP uh, called Access Point. And uh, I'm responsible for creating uh, uh, creative content uh, in the form of uh, video case studies, most likely. Okay, so what, ab what about Lake Balaton? So what is this project about? Who did this project? Uh, as I understand, you are a distributor, right? right? Access Point, you are a distributor. So who else is involved in this project doing, uh, installing EPMP all around the Lake Balaton? Okay, it seems we have some issues with the connectivity. Obviously, he is not using EPMP to uh, Right now, I... Uh uh, right now, I'm uh, hearing you. Okay, right now you can hear me. So uh, Yes. <laughs> perfect. It seems you're not using EPMP to connect. So. No, 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 absolutely not. I'm using a mobile phone and we are riding a highway, but right now we stopped, so I think uh, connection will be much better. Okay, awesome. So what is the project about? Who is involved? You are a distributor, access point. So who else is involved yes. and who did it? So actually, uh, there are two more parties involved. Uh, first uh, of all, uh, the original idea came from the Balaton Shipping Company. Uh, they wish to improve uh, their uh, connectivity for uh, tourists and their passengers. So they would uh, they experimented uh, with the Wi-Fi uh, system, which unfortunately didn't really uh, work fine. So they looked for another uh, solution, and this is how they find uh, Incom Technologies, uh, which is an IT developmental uh, company who is a longtime partner of uh, Access Point and also for Cambium and, and the ages back uh, Motorola. And um, basically, uh, Incom Technologies is uh, the developer. Uh, the operator and the owner of the network, uh, which uh, now fulfills the role uh, of providing Wi-Fi to the tourists and passengers of uh, the Balaton shipping company. Okay, and uh, can you give us a rough idea what is the size of the project? Because I've seen lots of EPMP units and some of them like EPMP 1000 hotspots installed. So what is the rough size of the project? Actually, I think this is a pretty huge uh, project, at least in terms of uh, our uh, country. So there are like uh, several hundreds uh, of these uh, links installed. So uh, from what I understand, the PTP links are roughly, I think, in uh, 200 links at least uh, are uh, operating. These are basically uh, responsible for uh, providing the backbone uh, connectivity of this system. Then uh, you also have uh, EPMP units in a point to multi point configuration for really short haul uh, uh, hops like uh, within a port or something. These, uh, these are something like, uh, like more than 300 uh, units of these installed. And then uh, you have uh, the E1000 uh, hotspots which uh, provide the Wi Fi coverage. And there are uh, approximately 300 from these already deployed. Okay, but um, as far as I know, and I checked Wikipedia before traveling here, 
that Lake Balaton is one of the biggest lakes in, at least in Central Europe. And uh, so what is the coverage area uh, that's covered by EPMP um, on Lake Balaton? Uh, so, uh, the coverage is uh, constantly growing, but uh, currently uh, you can uh, say that there are uh, approximately 23 ports operated by the Bolaton Shipping Company. So, these are the main areas where you will find the Wi-Fi coverage. Uh, these are uh, the 23 most important cities uh, located around the lake. And uh, also, you will ha find um, a growing number of uh, beaches where uh, the service is already starting to be available. And also, uh, all the residential, um, so regular ships that, uh, and ferries that travel across the lake have also EPMP uh, installed. So the... Passengers who uh, are aboard these vessels can use the Wi-Fi by traveling on the lake. So you can see that a quite a big uh, number, big, big coverage is uh, already provided. Okay, I see. And uh, people can use Wi-Fi like their smartphones on the beach, just uh, as I am right yes. now? Yes, 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 yes. So, Basically, this is a free Wi-Fi service, and um, it's a very cleverly designed because uh, it's available for everybody, and everybody can have a download rate of 5 megabits, which is, I think, fair enough, uh, especially because it's free. And uh, all you will receive is uh, you will have uh, a commercial, like I think in every 10 minutes or something like that. But if you wish to choose an option, like a prepaid option, it will cost you like uh, less than $5 for 10 days without any commercials. So I think it's a very fair uh, service for the people. I see. And uh, as I can see from the map, the network topology probably is a little bit tricky because it's a long, long back hole all around the lake. So how it is actually working in this case? Um, yes, the backbone is a very critical part of uh, this uh, installation because um, uh, earlier, uh, as I have mentioned, the shipping company had uh, some experiment uh, with the Wi-Fi system, and they used uh, longer hops uh, above the water surface, which doesn't uh, didn't really uh, ended up working fine for them, because uh, of various issues, you know, caused by the uh, water surface, and also not really having good line of sights uh, around these uh, ports. So that didn't prove them very nice. And uh, when Incom Technologies uh, got uh, into this project, they decided to do um, a longer route around the shoreline, which meant more uh, installation, much more hops, but also um, a much more resilient way because they decided to do multiple loops. So actually, this is a redundant network. Okay, and um, it is connected to the internet only in one place, or you have multiple exits no, all around the world? Uh, uh, they, they have like uh, three exits uh, towards uh, the internet, which means uh, they can do load sharing. All of these uh, nodes are, of course, optical nodes, and they act as both as a failover in case there is something wrong in the network, and also as a, a means for load sharing. Okay, and uh, do you have any idea what is the throughput of this backbone? Because it is mostly wireless backbone. Uh, all around the lake. So. Yes, so uh, each each hop uh, can serve up to 180 uh, megabits of uh, aggregated uh, throughput, uh, which is um, basically currently absolutely enough because uh, you can uh, imagine that uh, these are not residential users who are using it you know for downloading or streaming huge amount of data but these are mostly tourists 
who use it to send some pictures, check some uh, places um, on TripAdvisor, stuff like that. So usually traffic comes in uh, short peaks and uh, this uh, backbone capacity is uh, currently absolutely fine uh, for serving this, uh, these uh, customers. Actually, the highest uh, time last year was something like 150 megs altogether, which was uh, provided by roughly 4,000 clients uh, being online. And I believe it's mostly tourists because it's a nice place to go. I can tell everyone. Yes, Lake Balaton is a <laughs> yes. really nice place. Absolutely, yes. It's uh, Lake Balaton is uh, mostly visited uh, by uh, foreigners. Of course, Hungarians are also there, but um, uh, it is a special place uh, in a lot of terms. Uh, there are some also uh, problems uh, with uh, 4G and 3G coverage. So uh, people really appreciate uh, having a good Wi-Fi system uh, around. Okay, well, what about technical requirements? So I believe that uh, we already mentioned that uh, there are some issues with the um, over the water links. So what was the technical requirements uh, from the end customer? Uh, Actually, uh, uh, technical requirements, uh, first of all, the most important uh, thing was uh, to have uh, a reliable product with a good price performance ratio, because uh, this network will be available for free, I mean the service, so naturally uh, the cost uh, should be kept to a reasonable level. Um, but also resiliency and availability uh, issues uh, shouldn't be present. So that, that was a very key um, issue in, in this um, uh, requirement. Then also uh, price was also important because um, Lake Balaton is a very stormy area. So even though you really uh, have uh, good installation and good level of products, there are a lot of storms and sometimes even thunderstorms, which can be really devastating for uh, wireless infrastructure. So it was very important uh, for the operator to have uh, lower cost units standing by at uh, their disposal, which means that they can um, switch really fast uh, uh, if, if any, any equipment uh, gets damaged. And uh, last but not least, uh, since they had some uh, customization in mind, so they had some uh, ideas which, uh, especially the Wi-Fi model earlier from Cambium didn't support, they needed uh, customization from uh, the vendor and, and from us, so support from uh, the distributor and, and from the vendor. So these, these were the key requirements that, that should be available. Okay, so, but finally, why EPMP? Because there are multiple, let's say, cost-effective solutions in the market. So why EPMP? So uh, Incom Technologies had a, a long um, history with uh, old Motorola product line, like uh, um, the old canopy line. So they had the trust already uh, for the vendor. But uh, of course, uh, during the uh, selection process, they went through various uh, companies' models. And uh, what they uh, did miss from other companies is mostly uh, the, the support and also there were some features uh, both uh, in terms of hardware and in terms of software which made uh, Combium uh, come out as, as, as the winner of, of this product uh, in, uh, inquiry. Okay, so as I understand it's relatively big projects in terms of units and uh, I, I, I can see that it can be tricky to monitor, to install updates to do all the maintenance uh, around the whole network. So what is the way um, for the income uh, to do this right now? 
Um, actually, it was very uh, convenient for them that uh, CM Maestro uh, was in introduced and also that it is um, refreshed over the time and, and receives uh, new and new features. And um, since it's a very intuitive, very easy to use um, software, which has a lot of uh, cool uh, monitoring uh, features, uh, it makes life very, very easy for them, uh, especially during the operation and, and maintenance uh, um, time. Okay, and um, as far as I understand, uh, all the units, EPMP and EPMP 1000 uh, hotspot running the CN pilot firmware, the Wi-Fi firmware, uh, all of them are onboarded in CN Maestro right now. Yes, that was a very uh, that was something I, I forgot to tell with the requirements. But it was also important for them to have uh, both the Wi-Fi system and the backbone system uh, within the same uh, management software. So yes, currently both uh, the data backhauling and both the Wi-Fi uh, are in the same uh, management. So the CM Maestro. I see. Uh, so uh, at this point, probably we would like to thank you for introduction of this uh, project. We were really excited when you uh, posted on our community forum your video. And uh, <laughs> I encourage our viewers to go to our community forum and check uh, the video about this Lake Balaton project. You can see some uh, videos of the real installations uh, on the poles. Um, and again, you can see the uh, nice scenery from Lake Balaton as well. Uh, so thank you, thank you, Laszlo. And, uh, You're welcome. Uh, I encourage everyone to go to our community forum because it's the best place uh, to contact us and to send your comments. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, or if you have a really nice case study or anything you can tell us, please feel free uh, to post. And maybe we will in introduce you next time during our EPMP Now session. Uh, we're always looking for new guests to come and to hear about exciting projects with EPMP. So thank you, thank you for your time. And see you next week, same time on Wednesday. Uh, see ya. Thank you. See you.